This story is about Lusu and Chiru with guest appearance from Dude. <laughs> Lusu is a juvenile who has turned up here. She's there a few days a week. She's trying to befriend the group that lives right out here and it's going okay. I'll tell you more about it on another day. And she's been trying to befriend Chiru as well and that's also kind of going okay because Chiru is not exactly a dog who likes young dog energy. She's like a grumpy grandma kind of a dog who I she is a, a senior dog but um she doesn't like that energy uh, well unless it's the dog she has a crush on so that's a whole other story that i'll tell you on another day but uh generally she doesn't do well with these kind of hyper active dogs and so i was trying to keep them away but you know how it is with free living dogs there's not much i can do and lucy is like a hurricane when she comes in it's like chaos comes in so i just had to kind of uh, step away and uh, try to remain calm through it and see how this whole thing plays out and i think it's kind of going okay why do i say that it's because you can see that when they're interacting um there are some key components of play there uh, for instance you do see role reversal they're not kind of one dog chasing the other dog down that's not the case you can see that both dogs have a bit of choice there um they do take breaks uh so they stop think about it they're not being worn down one dog being worn down by the other and they do go back into the play each of them expressing their interest their continued interest in it so it's not really uh, being forced on one dog you know being bullied by one dog kind of a thing the body language well lucy's body language is quite loose uh, so you can see that definitely with chiru for first timers it may not seem like she has a very relaxed body language uh but that's because she is that kind of a dog um somebody once asked me you know does her tail ever come down it's always up there she's uh, she reminds me of myself during the corporate days you know always in high heels a suit wired up and constantly anxious kind of a dog um i keep saying that she's she's very much like me in a lot of ways and um, so she's a bit of that kind of a dog and so she does have a bit of a stiff body language but you do see it loosen up a little bit but you also do see that she stiffens up uh, very quickly you can see her hackles raised and she walks away from it very quickly this whole interaction doesn't last very long it's almost like a who i had enough of this kind of a thing so that's why i say it went okay there were components that suggested this was there was a little bit of play there's also components that suggested that she's not enjoying it that much which is not the case when she is around dogs that she has a giant crush on like dude or some of the other dogs so that's a whole other story that i want to tell you on another day but you can see here dude is <laughs> quite relaxed and chilled out because for once he's not being harassed by this chiru <laughs> who wants to be friends with him he's not so interested so this whole drama going on there uh and so you can see him uh, very relaxed and i think the point that kind of strikes me here is look at how complicated social relationships between dogs are it's not is a dog friendly they seem friendly but not possibly not for too long not necessarily with everyone not on all occasions they have good days and bad days so it can get quite complicated and we do need to give room for dogs to um bring out all this complexity because that is what social life of social animals is like it is complicated so Watch the video again and tell me what you think is going to be the next episode of this whole saga. Is Lucy going to win Chiru over with this oh it's such a cute puppy kind of a routine that she has going on there. Please please love me kind of a routine. So is she going to win her over or is Chiru going to draw a boundary and say enough is enough. I'm really not interested in this. I've tolerated you for long enough. So back off and leave me alone. Which can also happen. and i've seen it happen so what do you think is going to happen next leave it in the comments and if you enjoy it follow us subscribe so that we can bring to you more videos of free living dogs and their saga